Hello folks, welcome back to Comson 4 where we are doing our 10,000 cow challenge and in this episode we are going to be spending or have spent our £2 million loan so if we have a look at our finances we took out a £2 million loan that's because in this episode we could do something a little bit controversial of where we're going to be field flipping so we're going to be flipping 13 and field 1 now it's soybeans and sunflower, of course we're going to need at least a header for sunflower field. That's not going to be a problem. And then from there we're going to move on into November. Where we'll be flipping cotton, our other soybean field. And I'm not sure if that one's ready yet, I don't think it is. No 8, along with the other cotton field and the potato field. Uh, but yeah, potatoes are going to be a little bit behind. Actually, no, we've missed the window for those potatoes, so... Yeah, whoever planted them, planted them late, and that, I thought it was going to be raining that, so... Forget about the potatoes, so yeah. Soybean, soybean, cotton, cotton, and... Sunflower, so... But yeah, don't worry. I will be leasing a drill once more. I know we leased it in last episode to obviously do... All the grass fields and that, as you can see over here and that, so... In November, we're going to get a cut from that, but that's going to be in the next episode. Because so I've got some ideas for that. But for now, let's harvest these soybeans. And already, we've missed a little bit. Overall, should head to door two. Because, yeah, then I think we should have enough grain capacity in that. Actually, we're already at 5% and... So yeah, actually no, we're going to be able to do a head in that without having to empty this, but that's why we're doing it in the proper way of doing it clockwise, so then all we have to do is just move the combine back, get the trailer in, and unload. But yeah, first of all, let's see how far we can get before we have to empty the combine. So right, to be fair, we did get actually quite far further than I expected, so... I'd say that's about three quarters of a headland done, so we I think we're still gonna need to do about two headlands in that because yeah, just give the combine extra space to turn around in that, so yeah, we're literally just on the edge of the trailer there, so I'm gonna leave that over there. This will empty and yeah, so if we have a look so far, how much we've done for eighteen thousand years, so overall a small little chunk in that so actually the soybeans are going to be very worth it so do we sell them off now 1100 or wait until July next year where we can sell them for double the price so my thinking is to at double the price I'll cure the interest rate of this loan in that of which to be honest we should be fine anyways like I think once we're done with the field flipping I may keep some fields in that, like thinking 13 and 30, since they're close to that to our basis of operations now on the farm and that, so. But yeah, I think if we do that, and yeah, any interest payment we get is fine, because yeah, remember, in that episode, we're starting to send the Mephate, we sold 20,000 years, and we got 83 grand from that, so. Yeah, just over 4,000 years for methane, and we have a look at the prices once more. So go down here, methane. So yeah, it has its peak and flow, so 4,000 at the moment. Ignore the bond prices that, as you soon because of since we've started setting up this series and that. So over time, that's going to show us the true fluctuation of the methane, but thinking if things like winter and that, the prices for methane would be high, so we keep on cracking on what we're doing here, you know? I think, to be honest, we're going to be in good money now with the methane alone. And that alone will help us, you know, sort out with any fees and that with the whole £2 million loan. But yeah, my goal is going to be to pay that off. Also, it's going to be all the normal interest payments. I'm not sure what it is. I, mean, I think it's going to be around for two million pounds. It's going to be about ten grand a month, so 120 grand a year in interest. That is not even on top of paying it off. So yeah, it's going to be pretty expensive. But at the end of the day, it's all worth it for the farm. So 
let's crack on this and we'll see how much soybeans we get by the time we're done with this. And we are done with soybean harvest, and we're just getting the second tray of those, or well, half a tray of those of sunflower. So overall, it hasn't been too bad for us. So let's go and dump this in here, have a look, and yeah, look at the bottom right: 194 fowls in the years of soybean. So that is what. 450 grand or so, give or take, we're going to be getting. We're going to set that peak price. And also for the sunflower, how much do we have in total? That is it. So 174,000 a year. So we do have a lot of items here, like the barley and that, we sell over the winter and that. But yeah, that's one thing I want to look at is barley and linseed. So linseed ain't worth as much because it's a high yielding crop. So it's going to be worth around 700 quid for a thousand years, so not too bad for the volume you get. Remember, it was a small field, so. But yeah, the wheat's in that, barley, at peak price, yeah, around 730 and 700. So yeah, about 700 for all rounds. Alrighty then, so that is you done for now. Till tomorrow, Nat. Till well. November and that, so I'll put you over there. We do have to work her on this. Actually, what? Well, yeah, it's getting to the old awkward bits now, so we haven't even done this field over here yet. So, yeah, this is going to take a lot more work to do. But, yeah, we're not putting for us down the right thing because at the end of the day, we are flipping the opportunity in that to fertilize this once we set it. And yeah, so hopefully as well, we get some fertilizer contracts from this, so... So yeah, if we get one or two fertilizer contracts, so... That will be a very good thing to have, that. 
Again, more money coming in for us now, because, yeah, we still need to figure out a way to pay off this two million pound loan. But yeah, I may keep some of these fields now, I'm not sure on that. Or do we just pay off the loan? Once we've done the field for the pin. To be honest, I'm thinking of keeping at least one or two fields now, because... Yeah, we can do with the field space now, especially... I'm not sure how much hay that we're going to get from our 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7 fields. But yeah, we can do with another couple of fields now, just because of having it used for cropping now, because... We do need wheat or barley or oats in to get straw now for the cows now, because yeah, we're still going to need straw now. And that's what I want to do is buy stuff, and I know for our cows now, our adult cows, yeah, they're running out of hay, so we're going to need some TMR, so I'll buy a lorry load of TMR now, so we'll sure just get a bunch of stack, a couple of lorry loads in, depends on how much we get now. Because, yeah, if you get the one out, is a thousand pounds for five thousand liters. That is just over a twenty grand for a full got left in that. Because, yes, to be honest, besides from the leasing costs and that and the loans and that, we should be pretty fine, I think. So, but yeah, also, we do have our things like our meat thing that sells, so we get profit from that. Also, I have noticed we do have a great demand for our digestate, so we've got about 15,000 years at the moment. Yeah, at the moment that is 1,500. Not too bad, not too shabby in that, so... So that at the Surrey Yard and that, so... Overall, everything's looking good, so what I'm going to do is... Finish off this, get the rest of these fields seeded. And then I'll see you when we do the cotton in November. So here we are a little bit later on and we've done drilling. So now we're going to be on to the cotton harvesting. So we've got 20 and 30 to do. So I've got the old trusty Colossus cotton harvester here. So let's go and harvest this cotton. So should get a couple of bells out of it hopefully in that. So we start doing clockwise now. But yeah, the reason why again we're doing this now is just getting a bit of extra money in. At the moment, yes, we're on 32 grand that is because we did have to take out a slight extension on our loan, only 100 grand in that, but trust me, it's going to be worth it in the end because, for example, at the moment we've got the fake ready to go, we've got a full tank of those, that is 60,000 years. What show is it? 65. Yeah, 67,000 a year, so that on its own is worth, what, 270 grand or so, 280 grand. So yeah, we're going to be fine for money in that. Mildly at the moment, a lot of this also wants to hold off in that. And yeah, things like grass and need to cut out at some point this month. Thankfully we're in a 3-day month, so overall it's not going to be too bad for us. By the end of the day, and it's going to be interesting to see how much we can get for this, so let me crack on with this, and I'll see you folks afterwards once we're done here. And there we go, sometime later, we're in the day again, but don't worry, that my situation will be sorted, that's because as we're getting our cotton belt stuck on the trees, yeah, so I think we had about 20 or 21 cotton belts. And what can we do with them is not send them, instead, we're going to be processing them in two to make some clothes. So rather than making fabric and then clothes and that, we've got a army of grannies, and so as I can tell by the thumbnail, yeah, we've got grannies knitwear underway in that, so we've got about five of them cracking on already. Five grand to purchase in that, and yeah, decent fruit on that, about, I think it's about 5,000 years or so a month, so... We're going to have a lot of clues to come for the foreseeable future, but... So yeah, we've got nine bells on here already. Everything else has been already transferred over. As uh, so we're struggling to get through the trees here. Yeah, these bells are not light. Ooh. There we go. We are free from the trees, so... Yeah, we've got our drill over there. That's going to be ready to go. I'll do that in between episodes because... 
Oh, I need to start getting these videos out now because it has to be the wild now. So, but anywho, so yeah, we've got an army of Granny Silvera cracking on. So, we're going into our production tab. So, yeah, we get clothes from wool, cotton, or fabric. So, yeah, overall, a lot of these are already filled up to a certain capacity. What I'm going to do is, as we go along, whoever needs up will be going in. There we go. Let's crack on here a bit. Yeah, I'm hoping we get all the bells in. If not, I think, I think what we'll do is we're just going to sell. Whoever it was, we don't sell. What is capacity? So 45, 45. Yeah, you know what? Yeah, let's go and sold a lot of them. There we go, lovely jubbly. So yeah, that's gonna last us a fair while because yeah, look at that ratio, it's six thousand years a month, so yeah, until well into next year now and to be fair, that is going to be good because I think, yeah, we'll sell some clothes over the winter, we will. Because, yeah, prices and that is tumbling now. So, yeah, round about May is going to peak again. But overall, I'm still going to sell them as and when. And actually, you know what? To be fair, do we set these to sell? No. I think what we'll do is we'll keep them for now. But, yeah, let our crannies crack along the way, Nat. Brands did their net, so yeah. Ease will be cracking on. And yeah, again, okay, we've got so many ways to make money now, so overall, I'm not worried about the money situation at the moment. Yes, we're in the red net, but we've got contracts available, so we have a look at set contracts. So yeah, we got for hay and for spray, and obviously, we need to at least a spray of some sort. Or do I say frigate and just get get a sprayer in? So I may do that, but we still need to sort out the bait in that. Got the bait there, we've got the mowers. But yeah, again, no tether in that, so I may sell some produce in that here and there in that. Because yeah, that is over here in that, so actually what? Screw it, let's go and sell some methane. So, right, got our first tank of methane going in, and yeah, again, that's what I said about the profits and that. We are going to be looking very good in that. So, yeah, next episode, what we need to do is start the hay situation. And yeah, I'm thinking some of these could be covered in silage because, yeah, I want to get TMR on the way for our cows and that, for our dairy cows. Because, yeah, I want to booster our milk production, so. But yeah, things like our Angus is not that I'm completely fine with. But yeah, these cows are about nine months away from producing milk and that, so if I can have a batch of TMR stored up in that. But yeah, so overall, what's that? 280 grand or so, give or take. Let's see if I've got another tanker that's worth or not. And you know what? We just had enough for one more. I think we've got about another 10,000 years or so, but I think we'll save that for another full load in that. And yeah, that's going to be, what, another 280 grand or so, just in the methane alone. That is from like, these productions over here in that, so that's from our size making in that. And actually, how much size do we have in storage at the moment? Interestingly, We've got 486,000 years. So, I'm thinking, when we get the hay that crack on, because, yeah, I think what we can do is, you know, maybe collect the grass and that. Collect the grass and then send it over, but, obviously, I'm not going to be using the TARDIS stuff in that, but, we do have the, like, the forge pickup in that, so, How big can we go? So 43, 75, freezeable. Or do we say frigate? 
and Kahuna's artistic option. Could you fast 200,000 a year, 75,000 a year sounds fair? Or do you say stick to the medium? Honestly, I don't know. It. You know, mow it and all that. And yeah, it gets this pack of Wind Rose Bader. Paying the decent costs on it, but yeah, if we go with the meter side, it's 11 grand. So I just to save that 11.4. But yeah, we've got so many options in that. And to be honest, I'm tempted to stick with that, so. Obviously, that does mean least least a win rower in that, so... You know what? Let's do it now, before we run out to the... 20 meters we can go... To be fair... <laughs> that's what we're going to do. Or front wind rower. If ain't going to make too much of a difference. And actually, I need to consider the... Power of the beta, so that is 30. 170 horsepower to spare. But our requirements on these, so realistically, you can go with a 10 or a 12 meter. Unless we look at leasing a tractor nap for this. Again, why would we do this? Because, yeah, I know, it doesn't make sense in that. But yeah, I'm thinking 500 horsepower, or even something like this, the 9R series, so. That could go up to 627, 670. Something like that. That would be nice to have, so. 670, so. 330 plus 250, 570 is the ideal horsepower we need. And looking at the other large tractors, as we go with the trailed options and all that, not even the fence stuff can go that high. 570, yeah, again, that does have front three point linkage. 517, oh, yeah, I doubt we're going to have anything under mediums. 300, 313, 325. But yeah, so I've got a couple of options that we can do. But for now, I think that's where we're going to wrap it up. So, what I'll do is, once again, in between episodes, I will make sure, yep, Barley. This will be joined with Barley. Along with. 30 and that. Get the contracts done. So it's going to be a bit of a gap between episodes because next, last episode and this one will be coming out very short between each other and that. So, and then again, I'll also try to get fair countryside record as well. Have done episodes on that in a while. To be fair, I haven't done many episodes in general for a while now. So, so set cruise control to 30 miles an hour and that. But yeah, I want to get views out more now. I know I haven't put content out since the announcement for FS25 now with the cinematic trailer and that. I know since then there was a farm com pre show that and I'm recording this on Friday night, so farm con is this weekend, so yeah, I want to get some FS25 content out and that, some ideas coming out. Also, there is something I've been sort of working on all week now, I've been in touch with some models and that. But yeah, I got a video now, so that's gonna be coming out sometime next week and that. Make sure I get it done this weekend and that, depending on my schedule and that. But yeah, it's gonna be about the some of the concerns I've got about FS25 and that, because there are some concerns in that, you know, like the issues we've had with FS22 on release. I'm worried that's gonna be repeated on 25. Especially when it comes to modding that and support for models and that. But at the end of the day, that will get addressed in the video and that. But anyways, that's where we leave it today. And as always, hope you enjoyed the episode. If so, smash the button, click the comment down below. If you want to share us, please be my guest. 
If you've not subscribed to channel yet, please consider what purchase to do. We're going to say, off now, some former Evo Extreme, and I'll see you all very soon.